Are you sick of being slow and getting owned on the football field? We're gonna go into the best workout to help you be an athletic freak, and we're gonna start right now. Okay, the 60 second breakdown to get big and shredded. What are the keys? That first key factor is that we have to use movements that require a large amount of mechanical tension. So full compound movements that will improve our absolute strength. That second key factor is that we have to use ballistic exercises, explosive exercises that are gonna help us be a little bit more elastic, a little bit twitchier, so we have a quicker first step. That third key factor is that we have to use exercises that again are full compound movements along with isolation-based exercises. If we have isolation exercises, we can find weak points and issues of structural integrity in each football player to help them become better freaks. And then number four, you've got to find out what that secret's going to be at the end of the video. Exercise one to make you a total freak on the football field is going to be the low hang clean. And we're here with former collegiate linebacker DJ Shuttleworth. And so DJ was a total freak in college. Except for that time you got burned by the tight end against Albright when I was standing on the sideline. <laughs> you had to know, you had to know us. <laughs> yeah. So DJ is going to demonstrate what that low hang clean is gonna look like. And the big factor here is that we want to see the posterior chain get totally lit up, okay? So we wanna feel that nice, slow, eccentric on that low hang. And then what we wanna see is that acceleration from that low hang position into the hip. That's gonna help us improve the strength of our traps, improve the strength of our force absorption when we're catching that low hand clean. And then even when we're getting into that full bottom position, we're gonna increase our mobility through our ankles, through our knees, through our hips. And that's gonna to lead to more elasticity in a twitchier football player. So, let's see it, DJ. Low hang clean 365 in college. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so DJ's going to execute a perfect low hang clean. And what we want to see is him pick this bar up with good technique there. Okay, sets his back a nice slow eccentric down below the knee. Okay, then he's going to change that direction and absorb that energy nice and tight. So if he can give us two more reps there, what I like to do is let's say we do four doubles. Okay, so four doubles building up to a heavy set of two. Then we can do two drop sets of four where we're going to go a little bit lighter and try and do them more rapidly. One of the big factors I think here is that when you execute a low hang clean very, very well, you know, DJ did this with 365 pounds and when he was in college, I believe that this movement can really, really lead to get you to hit like an absolute mother <laughs> When you can do a low hang clean really, really well, now you transfer that over to the field and you know how to use those hips when you're making good contact. Good job, DJ. Boy. Okay, so what about that swole upper body? We know that football players need to have strong shoulders. They need to have strong pecs. They need to have strong triceps. And that's where this next exercise comes into play. That's gonna be a one and a quarter bench press. This is one of the absolute best. DJ, get on the bench. Stop standing on your cell phone like a- I have a meeting with someone at 945, or 930, <laughs> so I had to message him, right? <laughs> So DJ's going to demonstrate the one and a quarter bench press. This movement is absolutely phenomenal. And this is something that we use inside of our app, Peak Strength. Inside of our app, Peak Strength, we can actually select football-based training. And inside of that football-based training, you can pick, do I want to train like an offensive lineman or a quarterback? DJ, should linemen train exactly like quarterbacks? Yes. <laughs> You're fired. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. So one high of the school athletes shouldn't train the same. No, high school athletes should not train the same. One of the key aspects is that you can select that I want to train like an offensive lineman or I want to train like a wide receiver. When we're training with the one and a quarter incline bench, the greater time under tension triggers your body to use greater, higher threshold motor units. DJ, you're not done that set. That's another key factor around peak strength is that when you're using that, you can put in, hey, that was really, really hard. I couldn't do a full set of 10 because I'm a bitch like DJ on the that one with incline over 10. bench. <laughs> that was over 10. That was like 13. Give me two more. One, two, three. One more. So head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS Store to pick up Peak Strength today for seven 
free days of training so that you can become an offensive lineman beast, a wide receiver, or a quarterback beast. Dude, my chest is so pumped. Try that for five sets of five. Hit that for six to eight weeks, and the incline one and a quarter is even going to transfer phenomenally to a 225 rep out, a 185 rep out if you're still in high school, all while also increasing that max bench press. DJ, any final words? You my pecs are so pumped. You just said five by five, you made me do like 13. <laughs> now, before we give you the third and fourth key exercise, wait till the end for the absolute best secret to make sure that you get shredded for football. Ah! So football players love to talk about getting big. They love to talk about being freaks, but they also love to about doing really, really tough exercises. And this next exercise, the third key exercise to being a shredded freak on the football field is going to be the single leg squat. This movement is absolutely phenomenal for one, targeting the posterior chain, okay? DJ's got a nice butt here, it's nice and strong, and that's because he was one of the first athletes that we ever trained that hammered single leg squats all of the time. The other key factor is that it creates and improves that dynamic trunk control. When you're in that isolated position or when you're in the unilateral position here, what that does is you're balancing a large amount of weight and you have to use that trunk stability to maintain good structural integrity through your hips. So this is a really good cheat code to improving your hamstring strength, your glute strength, and that in turn will help you accelerate quicker out on the football field. It's also gonna help improve your agility. So we can do five sets of seven on each side, five sets of five on each side. And before we're done with this, we're gonna go superset this with something that we refer to as dynamic contrast method, okay? So we're gonna show you that quickly. But first, let me pick up my pad that's available at garagestrength.com and our single leg pad also available at garagestrength.com. So now we're gonna head over to the back extension. We'll call it the Roman chair. And no, this video is not sponsored by Roman, but we love getting hard legs, full blooded single leg pumps. Okay, so I'm gonna show DJ how to do this dynamic effort right here. Okay, so we wanna use this where we hook in here. One of the big factors with football players is we need to make sure that their adductors, their glutes, everything's really, really strong so they can plant and decelerate and then accelerate very quickly out of that cut. Okay, just like Nick Singleton in the Rose Bowl this year. So if we're here and we drop, boom, here, you're gonna feel that all through a little bit of that lower back, but also through that groin being explosive, okay? And I would use, again, our garage shrink balance pad here. That's available at garagestrength.com, I forgot. Oh yeah, I did say that earlier. We wanna do that so that we improve that trunk stability. Okay, so DJ, he's probably not gonna look as athletic as I just did. Let's go five on each side, try to be really explosive on that catch position. And that front foot will be the one that has the inside, there you go, like that. So we're up, a little bit of a drop. A little quicker out of, the, out of that bottom position. What was that, DJ? Now we're seeing why DJ played defense and not offense. <laughs> oh, what are your hands doing? <laughs> this one sucks. Were you, play, were you, a, were you a lineman? I was more of the run stopper. <laughs> <laughs> a little lower. Good, good. Dude, so, that's killer. yeah, so you can go back and forth between the single leg squat, the explosive back extension here, and make sure that you're focusing on that trunk control, okay? That trunk control is going to lead to greater stability in your hips, which in turn is going to lead to better speed. And over a long period of time, you're also gonna develop a lot of athletic muscle. That fifth key exercise is going to be based around improving grip strength and shoulder stability and lat strength so that we can then use that for pummeling out on the football field. Think about if I'm an offensive lineman, or in DJ's case, a linebacker back in the day. 
you're going to be pulling on jerseys, okay? You're gonna be pushing and pulling the opponent all over the place. Think about if we're a running back, we also need to make sure that we have fumble protection. If we're a D back, we're gonna be pushing and pulling the wide receivers. If wide receivers go up to make a grab, they have to have good grip strength. That's where this next exercise comes into play and it's going to be a towel grip pull up. So there's two ways that we can do this. So DJ, <laughs> <laughs> DJ's gonna do, demonstrate. You know what is this, doing this Ready? together? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, our, our body weight. <laughs> so what we're going to do, god damn it, is we can go, I'll demonstrate because DJ sucks at pull-ups, is we can grab here, okay? We're like this, pull up, come down, pull up, come down, pull up. And you need to make sure that you're focusing on actually grabbing. If you can get an offensive lineman to do this, they're gonna be able to hold a lot more effectively. And when they're holding, they're gonna be able to be a little bit twitchier. That's one of the big factors behind holding and even playing linebackers that if we can grab a jersey and move someone, shed them very quickly. Think about even Aaron Donald on the D line. He's grabbing and moving someone quickly and explosively, okay? So that's one of the key factors is that we wanna have that grip strength here and we can even do this if you don't have access to two towels, which every, everybody should have access to two towels. You can also set up where you're here, okay? Okay, so it's an absolutely fantastic exercise that you can use to improve that grip strength, lat strength, and even a little bit of your biceps. The only reason that they're hard for me is because Dane's under 200 pounds. <laughs> Get the f out of here. You made me do 100 pull-ups yeah. to start a workout. <laughs> so I'd be here, yes. and Dane would be behind me holding my feet. Yeah, like, like this, and he'd push up. <laughs> no, like the fifth set, Dane's pulling, go out pull. And I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is 100% accurate. I used to make him do first to 50. So you do first to 50, yeah. Where you go dips, pull-ups, dips, pull-ups, so 50 reps as fast as possible. We still use that, but this is another off, off, you know, little secret that we used to test. We would do five minute isometric holds and DJ would hold like 185 pounds for five minutes like this. So basically we went like a year and a half, two years where we were going five minutes of isometric holds to see what that would do. That was one of our wild experiments. And Maybe the upper body was chains on the back and, and doing push-up push -up holds on, yeah. on chairs. Crazy experiments that we've done in training. That's a badass hat. It's available at garagestrength.com. Okay, so this sixth exercise. Yes, yeah, sixth exercise. And remember, we've got one little nugget after this. But that six key exercise is gonna be something that we wanna focus on opening up the shoulders, okay? Shoulder health is a major, major factor inside of football-based training, okay? So if we have football players that are super tight when they catch a snatch, this is something that's gonna help quite a bit because now they're gonna open up their upper back, the thoracic extension will improve, and in turn, ideally, if we're catching a snatch in the hole, their hips and their ankles are gonna be a little bit more mobile. And this movement is going to be the miracle grow okay we've covered this in past videos it is not a pullover it's a miracle grow and so what we can do dj is going to use the pad the garage strength pad available at garage strength.com again that's the third plug for today's video as a target okay there he goes he touches back up okay so it's a deep stretch with elbow flexion deep stretch with elbow flexion good i feel like you can go down a little bit more yeah there you go perfect so remember through the lats here, open up this upper back, good stretch on the triceps there, and then a big pull and extend at the top. Ideally, over four or five sets of 12 to 17 reps, we build up to the hundreds, 110s, okay? That's gonna improve our lockout on the bench. That's gonna improve our stiff arm. That's gonna improve our ability to apply force with healthy shoulders, and that's a key issue when we're training football players. Perfect, great also job, DJ. Your glutes. Yeah. Quads, hammies, and your core. That's true too. Look at how lengthened his abs are here when he goes and pulls, okay? And then he has to squeeze through his glutes and his hamstrings to keep to make sure his hips aren't getting too high. Woo! Are one of the best exercises that you can do upper body. Especially I love it for like baseball players and swimmers. Yeah. Because like activating that lats all the way through the triceps and it's also like a stretch for them. Yeah, I, I even Especially think- Especially like pitchers. Same, yeah. And with football players too, if, if you're thinking about swimming as like actual, like the technique of, of a swim move for a D lineman or even to a point of linebacker, 
uh, that's gonna help you with that stability to, to hit that swim move. And if we superset that with, you know, ab wheel, explosive ab wheel or something like that, those are really good exercises that you can put together to improve that core strength and that's gonna transfer over to the field. And overall it teaches you, you know, like that tricep to lat activation. So like if you're shedding a block in football and you engage here, you're learning to like engage those lats too as you're forcing. And, and that's the thing too, is like compare that with, with the towel, with the towel grip pull-ups. Yeah. Now it's pummeling here and moving. And that's like the big thing that when we're trying to train athletes is to, de is to develop all the dynamic aspects. That's where the, the hand clean, the single leg squat. Now the single leg squat, think about I'm on the edge here as a rusher. And then I use that to improve that strength and that output. That's how, that's how we freaking ruin people out on the field. It's very dynamic in all sports. Like, and even for football, especially like over across uh, multiple positions, like think about a running back, someone trying to pull it, their arm gets yanked down and you quick activate. Yeah, while you're running. That tricep, everything right back up yeah. to keep that ball tight. I was actually thinking about that with a single leg squat was one thing when you're watching guys, especially in the NFL, they're good at, at like the strip game. But if you're running and someone's hanging on you, if you have that dynamic trunk control, you're not gonna collapse as much and you can three leg or keep, keep your, your, you know, keep the cycle going while you're running. That's the other factor that dynamic trunk control can improve is that it's gonna be harder to get yourself in a bad position if you're running with the football. Okay, so what is, what is the secret? Consistency. So, <laughs> that's so hokey. What a lame ass. That's like a, that's like a classic football coach. We gotta be consistent and work hard. Execution but, and consistency. <laughs> but to be fair, I think the big factor, one of the biggest secrets that every high school football player and collegiate football player needs to focus on is what are you guys doing with your nutrition? Let's say that you're eating 200 to 400 calorie surplus. You're in a caloric surplus at 200 to 400 calories, okay? That means we're gonna be able to build and increase our muscle mass over a long period of time. I think if you can do that, and then maybe once or twice a week, you do nice, easy cardio, you're on a bike, or maybe you're doing some sprints or something along those lines, that's gonna help you in that caloric surplus not get too husky. And one of the things that I wanted to share, DJ was one of the absolute pivotal parts of developing Nick Singleton. We were just talking about how when Nick was growing up, he would consistently always buy protein, always buy whey protein, always buy a gallon of milk, and always talk about like having a salmon or a steak for dinner with some sweet potatoes. Literally, that was like what he would talk about. He didn't talk much, but that was actually what he would discuss. And I think that that going off of DJ's consistency is that if you're a high school football player or just a high school athlete or collegiate athlete in general, being consistent with your nutrition will immediately, immediately separate you from the rest of the field because it's really challenging for young, it's really challenging for adults to maintain proper nutrition, let alone high school athletes. So if you're a high school athlete, go 200 to 400 extra calories and focus on getting that more from uh, your protein. So let's say you try to hit that one gram per pound of body weight with protein, and that's gonna help you get shredded and get stronger and improve your overall performance out on the football field. Being consistent and executing that with salmon and milk and steaks and potatoes. And train four days a week yeah, for at six least, years. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Four days a week for six years. So if you guys want more content around football-based training, check out this workout right here. If you want help with your overall training, remember, you can select if you wanna train like a quarterback, a wide receiver, offensive lineman, defensive lineman. Head over to peakstrength.app. You can pick up our app for seven free days of training. You can go in, you can use exercises like the one and a quarter bench press, the single leg squat, the low hand clean, and that's gonna improve your overall performance. Again, that's peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, or the Apple iOS Store. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.